more stuff than Halloween Gamerville, I should say. But it's going to be a Let's Play video. Last one before Halloween is up. This time I'm going all the way back to what started it all. Castlevania, the first one. This game is great. It's great that it started it all, laid the ground, but it's not necessarily my favorite, and I know I'm probably not alone on this one, because, well, it's, you know, it's primitive, it's choppy, the controls are a little iffy and take getting used to, so, obviously my favorite out of all of them is number four and Symphony of the Night, but this one is still playing good, though it's frustrating, and obviously I've never beaten it, just like I've never beaten pretty much any of them, besides from Lords of Shadow on easy mode, but... Let's take a look and see how far I can get in this game. I'm probably going to get frustrated and probably swear a little bit, I'm sure, but yeah, I'm going to suck. But let's see how far I can get with Simon Belmont himself. Candle whipping hearts and all that stuff, so let's get to it. Alright, Castlevania, press start key. Yep, there's no option screen. And this is still pretty awesome for the time being, even though it's, you know... Hasn't exactly uh, aged well, but it's, you know, it was probably great for when it first came out. It's an old game, so you gotta really, uh, give it credit where it's due. Alright, I increased my distance with my whip. Yeah. And I got a knife. Sweet. Let's not go with some goblins, but it's probably best to get the knife or any secondary weapon. Ah. Ghosts, or mummies. No, they're not mummies, they're ghosts. Zombies, whatever the hell these things are. I find it funny how it's the only series that never uses parts as health. The only thing they use them as is either ammunition or as currency. That'd be funny, like, I rip my own heart out and there you go, it's like a million dollars. Alright, ooh, that's gotta hurt, jumping down like that. His controls do feel a little stiff, but he jumps down it pretty much sets the tone of how stiff these controls can really get. So, yeah, I know. This game is heavily flawed with frustration value and, you know. And, of course, uh, some more problems, which you'll probably note along the way, with, but I'll say it right now. It's the, you know, backwards falling bullshit, you know. Every time you get hit by an enemy or anything. So it's always... Woo! Instant kill. Praise be the god, whoever... Whatever God created that cross, or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, take that stupid bat. Bat's more like it. Come on. Yeah, I wish money can buy me more health. Yeah, pork chop. Mm. James is right, though, to say, who the hell would eat? Like a pork chop that's, or a chicken, whatever the hell it is, that's hidden in the wall for hundreds of years. I mean, Christ. He said it would probably be dirty. I think the mice would have probably eaten it. Ah, shit. Ah, stupid fish things. I hate these damn things. Especially the worst when they come over you when you're trying to jump over anything. Ah, oh, crap, that's the one I wanted. Time freezer or clock stopper gadget. It's probably the best gadget to get around any of these enemies that jump and knock you over. Oh, come on. Wait. Well, you saw the flaw that I mo probably pretty much most people complain about. That's the falling back over a pit nonsense. I hate that bullshit problem that this game has. And James Roth is right, it is a severe handicap that this game suffers from. Yeah, that's great. Give me it when there's no enemies around. Oh, give me that when there's freaking Medusa heads flying around. Those are my worst enemies, and you're pretty much gonna meet them pretty soon. Alright, invincibility. Wish this game had more of those. I like the knife. The axe is good, but it's only good for enemies that are up higher. You know, sometimes in this game I really wish hearts were your currency. No, not currency, but health. Crap, bad. Oof, beat him. It's like, I better not lose. 
lose at the first boss fight. That, made, that would make me look really bad. It's quite amazing how many people probably thought this was the last boss just after the first level. Because I guess they weren't accustomed to NES, you know, after getting off Atari. But nope, got a long ways to go through the castle. Where, well, and the graveyards and stuff too. Alright, we definitely got a long ways to go. This thing's actually pretty good. And this is where things get trickier and trickier. Oh, this music's still awesome. Konami trademarks. I just love Konami for this. I mean, all the atmosphere and everything, it's just superb. Oh, there we go. So I was trying to get this sucker out of the way. God damn it! Shithead. At least you die every time you hit me. I hate the enemies that don't die when they hit you, and then they keep hitting you and hitting you, and it's like, just straight up assholes. It's like, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I'm just gonna drain all your health. I hate that crap. What is this shitty thing you do? Just keep killing me. Alright, and this is the start of the worst enemies in this whole game that I hate. And I'm sure anybody can agree with me. These mother Medusas. Uh, these things are the worst. Ugh, crap. I like the cross better. Even though it almost looks like that thing is in like a mill or something, but, but I guess, you, you know, gotta have the crosses to kill uh, Dracula or pretty much any of his fiends that are on the way, along the way to try to stop you. Come on, I hate these damn things. I know this is tedious, but it has to be done. I just gotta get more ammunition. Yep, parts are ammunition. Who'd have thought? Who would have thought, right? It's gotta be done. And of course, there's a stinking time limit, right? Not that it would really matter, because if I die because these stupid Medusa heads that are up ahead, I'm dead because of the stinking pits that they knock me into. Sentence you to die. Oh, no. oh come on! You gotta be shitting me. 